Hi there, I'm Catherine from McIver's Grant Public Library in Dyersburg, Tennessee. So many of our patrons, of course, these days are at home due to the pandemic, and I'm gonna highlight therefore a few titles that you might not yet have had a chance to see. I wanna make sure no one misses out on anything. Now these, of course, are gonna move through a variety of ages uh, and complexities, but this first book that I'm gonna start with, um, Dictionary for a Better World, I think is pretty darn universal. It's uh, collected by Irene Latham and Charles Waters. The images by Mercote uh, Amini are just really, really beautiful. Now, these poems, anecdotes, and quotes are collected, and you see there's even a content page at the front, which makes it really, really easy to use. Um, this style of imagery is really, really gorgeous. Even when the uh, images are quite bright, there's still this sort of lush depth to them, which I think is beautiful. And I love the different um, topics that are covered. Um, especially today in the midst of Black Lives Matter and other movements like that. You know, of course, young ones have lots and lots of questions. This is one of my favorites, this page on forgiveness, uh, something that adults and children struggle with at all ages, forgiving themselves for things they've done in the past, forgiving people for what's been done to them. So if you are looking for ways to start that conversation, a book like Dictionary for a Better World might be a great way to start. Now, the rest just happen to be fantastic science books. And this first one, Weather and the Seasons, again, this comes from DK Books. They do some wonderful titles. Um, this is a really fun, bright book. So uh, it goes through a variety of different terms. If your young readers are learning new words, this is a great way to connect it to um, the weather and things that they're experiment experiencing. Excuse me. And then also, too, it walks you through some really simple experiments that you can do yourself at home to better understand how those weather systems are working. So this is a great introductory book for the young, young ones. Moving on to a slightly older audience, The Complete Baking Book for Young Chefs. So this is from America's Test Kitchen, one of my all-time favorite resources. I use it all the time. I look it up even to figure out the best way to boil an egg. Um, and so you see it gets really, really detailed. Here's a whole page on the best ways to soften butter for a recipe. But what I love is that the children that are featured in this book are clearly eight, ten years old, because baking and cooking are for everybody. Anybody can do it. And this is a great way to help your young reader learn about that and, uh, and start the two of you off on uh, a journey in the kitchen together. The next one to show you, also from DK Books, this is called The Bacteria Book. <laughs> and it does get just as funky as the cover promises. Look at this, a whole page on microbes uh, that grow on feet, fungi, things like that. Now, one thing that I love, I'm at heart a research and reference librarian. In the back of this book, because quality can start at any age. We have a, whoops, a timeline of uh, important events within micrology. There's also a glossary right there and then an index. So this is a very accessible book and it might seem like it's for young ones and it certainly is, but um, people of all ages can really get a great kick out of this. Then we have the explanatorium. <laughs> of nature. So this is coming from um, the Smithsonian's publishing house and it is a beautiful book. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous and humongous as well. So it goes into all sorts of different topics all within under the natural world. So pretty much anything you'd be curious about, you can find a little something in here and you see the, um, the uh, images are just absolutely beautiful. And then the next one and the final one, again, is coming from the Smithsonian's publishing uh, house. This is called Science. Now, as you can see, the layer of um, depth of information is quite a bit advanced in this one. But again, it's just a wonderful book to sit down on a rainy day. You have nothing um, pressing and you can really just fall into this book and all the different images that uh, that are in it. 
So these titles are some, just a few of the many, many, many we have coming in new. They can be found in the kids zone, but of course anybody of any age can check them out. And if you want, you can uh, either call when you arrive and we'll take these books out to your vehicle. You can come on in and we'll take them to the front desk for you as well. Okay, and then you can see these titles and all the rest that we have on our catalog, which can be accessed through our website. Thank you for uh, joining me on this little clip and I hope to see you soon.